how to integrate Webflow with Shopify step by step. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you're going to integrate Shopify with Webflow in the easiest way possible. So let's get straight into this. So first of all, you're going to open up your Shopify and log in with everything. And you're also going to want to make sure to go to your Webflow. Now, on your Webflow, basically over here, you're going to go ahead into creating a site and you're just going to get straight into your account. Okay. And once you get straight into your account, obviously it's going to be really easy to go from there. As you can see, I'm going to head straight into my dashboard, make sure both these accounts are fully set it up for you. Now, most common people have this misconception that uh, you can't really, you know, integrate Webflow with Shopify because if you go to Shopify over here, we're going to go into apps and I'm going to go in all recommended apps. You Normally, you integrate an application with Shopify by, you know, adding some type of provider through the app. So let's say in the apps, I'm going to go ahead and search up uh, Webflow and in Webflow, obviously you're going to try to find an application that is going to make you connect with Webflow. Now, obviously over here, you can't see any application that helps you connect with Webflow. So, you know what to do. So in this case, what you're going to do is you're going to search a buy button. Okay. Now this won't really make sense right now, but trust me, it will in a second. So you're going to click on buy button channel and we're going to enter that. Once you do that, you're going to click on install. And once you click on install, you're just going to wait for it to, you know, properly verify and relocate itself into the Shopify dashboard. I'm just going to wait for that to load in. And uh, here I'm just going to go ahead, click on add sales channel. Everything should be good to go from there. Now, whilst everything is being added into the sales channel, uh, you can add your buy button over here. And there we go. So now we're going to create a buy button. Now, the reason you will create a buy button in this case is because a buy button is what we will use as an integratory third party provider to connect with our Webflow. Okay. So we're going to click on create a buy button. And once you click on create a buy button, it brings you over here. So what type of buy button would you like to create product buy button? Recommended for showing one product on one blog page or collection buy button recommended for showing an entire collection. Right now we're going to go with product buy button, but you can create a collection if you want to. I'm going to go with this one over here, right? I'm going to go with that and click on select. And once you go with this product of yours, you're first of all going to choose the layout style. So first of all, there's the basic layout style where it's just a button. Okay. Then there's classic with the name and price on top of it. Then there is the full view. Okay which gives you the image and all. I'm just going to go with the classic because it's more, you know, popular in that case. Then action when people click. So that will either add product to cart, direct to checkout or open product details. I'm going to go ahead and click on direct to checkout. Okay. So you can do that or you can just have it added to cart or you can go and add it to cart. Then there's button styling. You can obviously mess around with the button styling. You go something that matches your uh, store's theme. Now, obviously, my Webflow page, let me show you what it looks like. Obviously, go with the coloring scheme that matches your actual Webflow store's uh, theme. Now, what that will do is it will connect your Shopify and Webflow. And when someone actually clicks on this button on your Webflow, it, they will be integrated straight to your Shopify. So, as we can see, we're like on a dark blue here. So I'm going to go with this on a little light blue shade, you know, so we're going to go lighter. Yeah, let's let's just do that. Or you can even make it into a green shade. You know, that works, too. And the button text, you can change it to black if you want to. Uh, white would be better in this case. So I'm just going to keep it white. And now you're going to go into the typography. There's the font and there's the text size that you can increase for yourself as well. But yeah, once you've done that, the button styling is done. Then there's the layout of everything. You can make the button large if you want to. Uh, there's alignment of everything. The button text, add to cart. Obviously, that stays the same. Then there's the sizing of all the other things. Then there's the shopping cart. You know, how will the shopping cart widget look like when someone is actually messing around with this? So I'm going to obviously call it cart. The subtotal is going to be this over here show order note field. Okay. If you want special instructions, uh, then there's additional info that they can potentially give. Then the button should say checkout. 
And if the card is empty, they can say your card is empty. Everything should be good to go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go with that. And now, yeah, this should be good enough. It says open pop-up window or you can redirect in the same tab. I'm going to open pop-up window makes more sense. And once you do this, click on next. Once you click on next, it gives you a buy button code. Now, this is exactly what we've been waiting for. So you're going to click on copy code. Okay. And now you're going to come to your Webflow. Now, once you're in your Webflow, to add your actual Shopify button over here, you're going to click on export code. Now, this code over here is obviously an HTML code with divs and stuff. So we are going to, uh, you know, remove this. And once you remove this, basically, you need to add a code snippet in this code generator over here. Now, obviously you are gonna want to upgrade your plan because without an upgraded plan, it is impossible to add code into your Shopify store. So make sure that you have an upgraded plan. So once you have an upgraded plan, uh, things are gonna be really easy. So basically, let's see how much uh, the upgraded plans are costly for. So let's uh, check those things out. Now, these are the basic upgraded plans. You get, um, you know, $0 core, uh, which is $19 growth, which is $49 and uh, enterprise, which is, you know, the custom pricing with the enterprise. So pretty basic, pretty incredible stuff. Now you're going to need to at least go to core to obviously add code snippets. But once you add the code snippet for Shopify, what's going to happen from there? is basically you're going to get redirected from the buy button that you're going to add through code. Okay. Once you click on that buy button, uh, what's going to happen from there is you're going to redirect yourself to your Shopify where it's going to, you know, take the products out of your Shopify store and add it into the cart in your Webflow store. So that's the integration process that goes on between Shopify and Webflow. So that is basically how you're going to connect Shopify and Webflow with each other and use them in an integrated ring form. So I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me I am always available and I will give you the easiest step to step guides for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.